Hello everybody, this is Jeremy from Gamertel and today I want to show you Steam's brand new user interface uh, that they call Steam Big Picture Mode. Steam Big Picture Mode is something that a lot of people have been excited about for, for a while now and over the weekend uh, we found out that it was going uh, to go into beta today for anyone who wants to try it and what it is is a is, is a user user interface that's uh, optimized for large displays, televisions or big computer monitors, things like that. And while you still have access to to everything that Steam has, you know, it's not it's not something that uh, it, it's not a new service. Uh, it doesn't give you any more functionality on your computer than than it already does. It's just really just a brand new user interface something that people can connect uh, their computers to their televisions and when they want to boot up a steam game they have a controller in hand and they can navigate this way instead of using a mouse and keyboard to do all their to do all their navigating so let's jump into it right now uh, there are three different options that you can choose from you have the store you have the library and you have community let's first jump into store you jump into store and the interface may look familiar to you it may look like look like something you'd expect from uh, an Xbox 360 interface due to all the uh, rectangles all over the place but this is very simple it shows you some of the uh, featured games on Steam right now there's Civ 5 there's Torchlight Arkham City XCOM Enemy Unknown and when you click on one of them let's just click on Dawn Guard it takes you to the product page that uh, looks much different than than what Steam does now without big picture mode and let's also keep in mind that this is a beta so things uh, can be a little bit slow in my experience uh, it has never taken this long for a page to load but uh, you get the picture so just like the regular client uh, you have you start things off with a trailer and once you move away from the trailer the video stops and you have screenshots as well so these are just some screenshots from Skyrim that you have here and I'm using the Xbox 360 controller so I can press B to go backwards and at the bottom uh, you see any DLC uh, you have a description details about the game uh, the community pages you know really just a different way to to navigate around and we'll just do the same thing with Borderlands 2 here yeah steam big picture mode is uh, moving a little sluggish right now but we will still get through all of this you know and I'm really just deciding not to stop the video uh, because you know, this is how it is I want to show you the real how it really interacts uh, during the beta uh, so if something goes wrong if something's a hitch then hey you know this is what you're gonna have to deal with because it will get fixed things will get better uh, but this is what we have right now so once again a bunch of screenshots uh, descriptions details more community uh, features things like that uh, let's go into a, another category the library this is your library everything that you have uh, currently purchased on Steam or if you had a redemption code that you use on Steam you'll see all your games that you have here uh, these are just games in my recently played list or you can go down to view all games and it'll bring up all the games that you have if you want to check out one of them uh, let's just say for example if I wanted to check out my most recent game was Sleeping Dogs that I completed so let's just check out Sleeping Dogs and you see you have your achievements once you click on that it'll take you into uh, the built-in web browser uh, which is something I'm going to show you a little bit later but yeah I could play the game right now if I wanted to and can check out any friends that I might have on Steam that are playing it here's all the screenshots that I took while playing the game I only took six of them but there's one there's two there's the third one fourth one and fifth one so those are the oh that forced karaoke that was a good time in that game and finally six so those are the screenshots that I that I did you can delete them if you want because keep in mind this is all just running this is just running off my computer just a different user interface uh, anything that I did with Steam anything I saved on my computer it's all just still here this is a different way to interact with it 
so yeah these are all the games that uh, I have in my collection and you know the interface for all of them are the same and if I wanted to boot one up let's say Super Meat Boy well let's just do that that's a game that's compatible with the controller so let's just launch it right now now you can see like the little window came up on the left side there the computers are going through all the stuff that the computer goes through to boot the game and there we go super meat boy is now booted up so we're just going to get through some of the first menus here okay so uh when it comes to browsing the web uh, Steam Big Picture Mode has a feature that lets you go to the web without actually leaving the game. And we do that by uh, clicking on the left. Uh, well, we do that by... How do we do that? Okay. You press the center button of the Xbox 360 controller and it takes you into Steam like this. And then if you click the uh, left trigger it'll take you into the web. Now you see how it's flickering like that? Not too sure what the deal with that is. Not sure if it's a problem because this is still in beta. I don't know if it's a input problem on my end or whatever, but it's very very flickery and I know that can get kind of annoying so I'm just gonna stop right now and go back in, into Super Meat Boy. But theoretically if this uh, was working you know 100 percent perfectly then I would be able to jump into the web do a search you know maybe like how do I defeat this stage in Super Meat Boy and then jump right back into the game without ever having to leave Steam so that's pretty neat but let's exit Super Meat Boy right now because I'm not gonna play that and let's jump into the web uh, very easy to jump into the web with Steam Big Picture Mode all you have to do is click the left trigger on the Xbox 360 controller and then here are the five websites that Valve uh, has already automatically set up Google, Twitter, Reddit uh, YouTube and Facebook. So if I want to go to Google, it pops up there. And this is the input interface that uh, Valve developed, which is unlike anything we've ever seen before uh, when it comes to uh, using the web on, on TVs. So what you do is you move the left analog stick over one of these, one, one of the portions of what it looks like a flower and you just use the face buttons to correspond with whatever you wanted to input so for example if I wanted to look up let's just say trees go down so it's T R and Google's automatically searching because this is just the web you know this is not a special type version of the web this is the internet this is my internet connection so I press I press uh, start and here we are and this is the first person browser as you can see the little reticle that looks like a crosshair in a first person shooter game you just hover this around roughly where you want to go and then you press uh, a button and we're just going to go to a wikipedia page about trees and there you go there are the trees you can press y to zoom in it zooms in a little bit there press it again it goes out zoom in zoom out so that's pretty neat and if you want to go backwards you just press the left directional button and it will take you right back and when you want to uh, look at a different tab or something like that uh, oops accidentally zoomed in when you want to look at another tab let's see if I can get this to work properly come on it's a little wonky at the moment you press X and then you can uh, add this to your favorites, open up a new tab, close the tab, and go to a different page. Uh, we're going to go to YouTube. What I found is that the video, the when you play videos in YouTube, um, they're they're kind of chunky. So let's just go to the to this first link right here. I think this is the first animal to survive in space. Uh, and also, you know, we're not uh, using the internet on big picture mode necessarily to you know browse the web do this or that you know I think that is really made to to quickly reference games if you want to find you know how do I do this how do I do that then you can immediately pop in figure that out then go right back out and you see how the video is kind of choppy yeah so not the best 
But, uh, you know, I would imagine these days, especially since, you know, we've all got smartphones and we've got tablets. If we needed to figure out something on the Internet, um, perhaps maybe instead of using this, we'll just jump on our phone or jump on our tablet and accomplish the same thing without ever having to leave the game. Um, now, that's just a thought. But at the same time, um, it's still a pretty nice feature to have. And it, it is if, if the PS3's web browser had done this in the very beginning, then it would have been a lot better. And I think most people would have uh, would have used it and maybe even enjoyed it. All right. So let us go back. Let's close this tab. All right, and let's just see, is there anything else that we need to go over? The community tab is, uh, you know, if you got stuff for your friends, but I don't have any Steam friends, I don't use Steam all that much. Uh, we can go into the settings. You got account, your friends, languages, and text entry, your display, voice, and in-game stuff. And you see the display. My resolution is at 1080p because it's currently connected to my television. And everything resized properly. Uh, there uh was no option that was like kind of floating off the screen and had to figure out a way to get it back to center or anything like that. So yeah, guys, that's a that's a quick look at Steam Big Picture Mode. If you want to enable it, just go to your account settings and uh, enroll in the Steam Beta. And then once you do that, uh, you may have to restart Steam. And then when it comes back up, you'll see a Big Picture icon in the top right corner of your screen click on that and you don't necessarily have to be connected to a tv or a big monitor you can just run this straight from your laptop it'll be the same experience albeit on a smaller screen and you still have to use a controller to navigate around with it because that's just the whole point point. and yeah threat to consoles not right now but if there was uh, appropriate hardware for this, if and when Valve comes out with its own console, I would imagine it will launch right into Steam Big Picture mode. So assuming that they can sell that at a very reasonable price, then that's when I think Sony and Microsoft needs to start worrying. But for right now, not really. But this is something that's quite cool, and uh, you can check it out right now. It's all free. So until next time, I'm Jeremy from Gamertel, and I'll see you next time.